What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dusty, the Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. If you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button. And for those that already have, thank you for all the likes, the continued support, and everything that you guys have been giving me. I can't thank you guys enough. In the last episode, we had just finished all of the primer and paint on the frame to wrap it up and officially call it complete. And I talked about towards the end where we were going to switch over and start to replace the 15-foot panel needed on the driver's side. However, we're going to go ahead and skip that one time and put it on hold because we have a current weather update that is actually bringing in rain uh, sometime this evening and is going to work all through the entire weekend. And so I wanted to get all that stuff kind of put away and not be sitting out in the rain. And so the only thing I have left are two axles. And so that's what we're going to do in this video is throw those two axles in, bolt them up, get it complete ahead of the rain coming in and uh, temperatures really drastically cooling down. So without further ado, like as always, I'm actually not going to be switching over to time lapse anymore. Uh, as we start to build this thing from the ground up, we are going to get into the intricacies and the details, all of the explanations of exactly what we're doing up, up to the knit and gritty. And that's exactly where we're headed. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this over like as always and get this project started. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, guys, I got it positioned on some little dollies. Obviously, it's not going to make the clearance, so what I'm going to do is get it as close as I can, which is right where it's at. I'll take this end off of the dolly, and then I will walk it under here, utilizing this dolly uh, as my secondary person, since I don't think she'll give me any help. Will you, Bree? Bree, you going to give me help? Yeah, I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. I'll get this position and switched over in a better uh, angle so you can watch that happen. All right, now that I've got this axle in place, one thing I'm gonna make note so you guys realize is you'll notice on this um, mounting bracket that's gonna to go to the frame, the longer portion of that bracket's gonna to go towards the back of the frame. The smaller portion of this is gonna to go towards the front of the frame. So when you position this, don't make the mistake that I just made and then having to flip it around and bring it all back out. So put that in position for there. Now, now that this is in position, you can see that it's kind of sitting at an angle and it's a little bit ahead of where the actual mounting holes are gonna go up into. And the reason for that is I'm gonna go ahead and jack this up with a jack. And as I do that, it's gonna kind of rotate up and backwards. So I've got a little bit up in position, but as this goes up, it's going to go towards the back and you'll see that here in just a second. So we'll get this in position and start to manipulate that, get that jack drug out from underneath there and bring that in. Once it is, we're going to line up the mounting holes that you can kind of see right about there. And there's another one right over there. And we're going to line those up with this on the bracket of the actual axle. Once we get those in there, we're going to throw the hardware in there get it all bolted up, and then we'll drag the second one in here. So let's get it going.
All right, guys, that storm rolled in pretty quick. As I was starting to put the axle in, I was starting to have issues in getting it to fit in place. And I didn't have enough time to get it all figured out before it hit. And so now we're kind of in the aftermath. So what went wrong with the axle? Well, the new axles, I'll show you, are a little bit wider than the actual cutout on the frame. So when we're looking at this, this new axle right here, when I get my dial caliber on it, we're sitting just over about three inches. When you come to the actual cutout, you'll see that if I were to line it up on one side, just how far off that is. So the idea is, is I'm going to kind of center this up as close as I can see with my eyes. And uh, I'm going to take a straight line with a scribe and go all the way up and then come straight across, obviously, just like this. And then I'm going to use a metal cutoff grinding wheel. And we're going to just grind that out and get this to fit up in place. Now, obviously with that storm hitting, I didn't have enough time to get everything in place to do that. So the only thing I did was cut the video, throw these on some 2x4s enough to get it off of the cement with water, <clears throat> and uh, just put them in place for now. So I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, obviously the rain is still going to be uh, throughout the day today and tomorrow. So we're not going to actually do any of that work today with cords and everything going all over the place. We're just going to wait for this storm to uh, pass through and then we'll get started back on that. Second thing is, is with the actual leaks, <clears throat> I've gone through and started to look at where those leaks were taking place and then I waited until it rained which you'll see here. All right, first leak is right here. It's coming on the outside right here, somewhere in, off this seal. So we're gonna rip this out and replace this as the first leak. All right, second leak is somewhere in here. I haven't been able to find it, but I'm assuming it's gonna be this inner seal. There's just a little puddle of water right here. Not a whole lot, but enough that obviously there's a leak. And I'm going to assume it's probably coming in from at this sill right down here. And just coming in right in here. Oh yeah, right in there. There it is. If I can get it better. Now I really thought there was going to be a leak back here, especially kind of if you could see the daylight through all the seals broken, but there is not a single leak right here, which is a good thing. So we're still going to replace the seals, but it's, it's not leaking. We do have a leak somewhere off this back panel. However, I know this back panel is getting replaced, uh, but this water is running down here right now. It's coming all the way here. And then I think it's coming right off of this separation, which is where it's probably coming in at. But this whole panel is gonna get replaced. We do have water here, which I traced all the way back up to here, which then tracked all the way up to here. So that's okay. Another leak on this window. Same thing, seals. That's where it's coming up from. So obviously with those leaks, there's not a whole lot going on other than replacing some seals. And after the fact, with some of those videos, I came back in here just to double check and I found one more. And it's simply just a, just another seal right here, which you can barely just see this water right there. And that's just coming from right up in here. So we'll go ahead and take this all out, reseal it, and this whole frame and shell for an Airstream should be watertight after that. And of course, we'll test it once we do all the replacements. So we're going to go ahead and switch it back over to the work and get started again.
All right, guys, we almost got this axle in. Everything's lining up almost. First bolt in perfect. Come to the other side. Looks like we're gonna have to do a little more cutting. You can see here that we still got more of this frame exposure. We're gonna have to cut out so that these bolt holes will line up and we can get the second bolt in appropriately and then all the way up to the top. So that's what we're gonna work on. I think I'm gonna use a uh, Dremel tool with a little uh, grinder stone on it and then just kinda go from here. I'm gonna make my markings now, but uh, we'll go from there and uh, get it all perfectly aligned and then get that second bolt in and then move on to the second axle. All right guys, we're gonna turn this into a two-part series, wrap this video up and head over to the second part of this. Both axles have roughly been mounted to the frame. And then of course, we're gonna finish up all of the uh, gray tank and black tank brackets, get those into place, primer painted, and get it all mounted ready to go. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of what those look like. It's, those brackets are in place. We'll show you how we're gonna bolt those and mount those in so that they're easily uh, able to be taken out. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Call this a wrap on this video and I'll see you over in part two to this series. Thanks for giving the likes, the thumbs up, sharing it with all your family and friends. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this is Danny, signing out.